Hi, and welcome to Freedom Fridays. We started Freedom Fridays to show you the backstories of all the people around the movie set for Freedom. But today, we got a special guest, Anita Wagner. That's why we're all here. This is her true life story. Welcome to the set, Anita. Well, thank you, Scott. I'm glad to be here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So, um, heck, I don't even know where to start. That's so perfect. tell me, um, what, what's your thought being back in Freedom? Oh, I have mixed emotions. I have good and bad times here, but you know, I'm glad to be back. Uh, I spent 13 years of my life here. They were, they were good years. Uh, I, when I was in Freedom, I found my freedom. So uh, that'll be with me my whole life. Right, you know? right. Yeah. Uh, I love that. So, so um, when, when you came in last night, what was that like? Well, I'd forgotten how long it took to get from Wichita to Freedom. <laughs> the drive. The roads, you know, and the back roads and coming through little towns like Anthony and Harper, Kansas, and all brought back memories I because bet. we'd been up that way many times, hauling the bulls, you know. So all good memories. Uh, I'm happy to be here. This is going to be a great event. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. And, and once you announced you were coming, it just kind of picked up the momentum and the oh, energy. Good. and. And uh, it was funny as I'm with more cast members and production teams are all like, I wonder what Anita would think about this. Or I wonder if Anita rode this horse like this. Oh. <laughs> and, and it's so much fun. There's so many people thinking about what you envision. What I went through, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a great team. It's great to have everybody together. It'll be a good uh, inspirational thing, you know, for the film when we get together again as a film family. Right. And, uh, I couldn't ask for any better. I'm in loving everybody. That's it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I remember when you were on the, our show, the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show, we were talking and I said, did you journal? And you were like, no, I just, it just all came back so vividly. Mm -hmm. 13 years into one book. Yes. How did you do that? Well, I kind of started, when I started writing the book, I started in my mind from the beginning, from the day that we met in Las Vegas, uh, mm -hmm. Rowdy and I, or Marvin, as, yeah. as these people know him. And um, I kind of went like month to month, week to week, whatever, as time progressed and things I went through. And it was, it was all very vivid to me. It's still vivid to me. I could tell you exactly what happened on a certain day, I'm telling you. I remember it all. Um, and then it took about a year to finish the book. And I had a publisher and I've edited it several times since then. I try to tell the true story. There's a little fiction thrown in for some action, but it's, uh, it's a true story. I love the stories, and I'm not going to give your book away for sure, but um, so where can people find your book? Uh, well, it's available on Amazon. All my books are on Amazon, and then I have a website, um, anitawagonerauthorblog.com, where I'll send you a signed autographed copy of my books. Very cool. And freedom's been a hot item lately. Since yeah, I you, bet it has. Since you came into oh, the picture, Oh, I don't guy. know. It's your story. <laughs> I'm just trying to carry your water pill. So when you see this, how did you pick your cast? Oh my gosh, it's been a God thing to tell you the truth. Absolutely. <laughs> From the beginning, you know. So cool. Um, I kind of was trying to get characters involved that kind of resembled real people that I, I'd known here. Uh, from, from Marvin to his friends to people that work for me, you know, just bring in people that look, look the part. And uh, right. uh, once I talked to people and understood their personalities, it was just a natural. Right. But when I uh, got in touch with Lisa Varga, you know, it was just like, oh my gosh, you're my Cheyenne. When I talked to you and I said, oh yeah, you're Tim. And uh, there's no rhyme or reason to it, but right. it's been a really good, rewarding experience. And I'm just pleased with everybody from Brian Hedges to yeah. Renee Long. I mean, everybody, just great gr people. Great people. Great I think, people. you know, when you, when you talk about that, it's like you're getting somebody from the core that, you know, yeah. deep down. Coming just from the heart. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And by they the way, they're really here. talented people, they are. you know, they but are. We're lucky. at the core, they're just great people. And, they are. and it's uh, such a blessing. You know, to be they're all coming from Texas, Oklahoma, Tennessee. You yeah. know, can't yeah. beat that. Indiana. Indiana. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So, so um, when, when you heard about Freedom Fridays and coming down, what was your initial thought? Because I know when you helped plan it, you know, it was going to be something small. We weren't going to do a whole lot. We just want to show some Maybe things. I overdid it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know. I just put the word out and it just all came back to me because when I had the lodge out here in Freedom and we had a rodeo arena, we had the bulls. It was just a normal day, uh, weekly experience, basically. We bucked bulls at the arena. We had cowboys come from all over the, you know, the area to get on our bulls. And it was an easy thing for me to help put the full ride on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of know the business. Kind of do, don't Even you? Even though I've been out of it for a while, I do. It's like riding a bike. 
Yeah, I guess, or a horse. There you go. <laughs> I love that. So we rode horses yesterday. It was so much fun. And just riding in the Oklahoma pastures and uh, driving around Freedom in Oklahoma. It's just beautiful here. It is beautiful. You know, you cross over that Kansas line and you know you're in Oklahoma. I mean, I, I love the country. It's yeah, beautiful, especially it, if you get out on the back roads and, you know, see it. It's, it's a beautiful state. Yeah, it really is. And the people are just wonderful. The people. The people. The kept, kept me here for 13 years. I love the people yeah, in Oklahoma. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what, what's your takeaway from this weekend? What do you want to see happen? Well, I, I'm seeing what I wanted to see. That's happen, awesome. That's is awesome. everything coming together like this right. and the people coming together and, and y'all, you know, uh, Y'all, you like that? I love that. I like, she ought to be a Texan. I don't know. I always wanted to be a Texan. Oh, come on. But I see the fa you guys are coming together, you know, the actors, mm -hmm. and uh, it's like one big family. Yeah. And it's just going to make for a, a, a terrific movie, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's good that we all get along. We're yeah. not going to put up with anything. If we, we don't like them, we get rid of them. Yes. <laughs> we don't take them to the train station no, like they no, do No, no, no. You just yeah. call them from the herd. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Production's been great. Cast's yeah. been great. Just yeah. everyone, you everyone. know? And, and this, the town, they've done so much for us. And it's all been volunteers, yes. you know? What an amazing thing. I don't know anyone that could have done what we did in, about what, 20 days, 20, it, 30 yeah, days? 20 Not days. even that, yeah. yeah. 20 days. Yeah. It's amazing how the town just opened up. And they work so hard. They have everybody, Valerie from the, Valerie Brown. Yeah, we're gonna talk to Larry, Valerie in a little Larry bit. Larry here yeah. at the Mercantile. Oh, it's so I mean, great. Yeah, the whole town has been very supportive. That's and what the I love. And camera crew. And oh, so Liam, good. how yeah. can we forget Liam? Liam, they Crystal, help. all yeah, of them. Crystal. Yeah, they, oh my gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you surrounded everybody with so much talent. It, it makes yeah. it a lot easier for yeah, sure. Yeah, it does. For sure. So so, uh, what do you think is going to be your first thought when you drive into the arena tomorrow? Oh, I'm And start have... hearing the bulls and hearing the gates because it's a different sound. The different sound is going to be a different feel and I might break down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to love it. Yeah. It'll be great. I've been away from it, you know, for since 2009, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, the story has kept me involved in it because I keep rewriting it and I wrote the script. So I lived the life over and over daily, yeah. but to go back to it and actually see the bulls and the smell. The and, smell is and those something. rodeo hamburgers, you know. Oh, so good. <laughs> yeah. So good. Yeah. But I think just the noise and the smell, like you say, and the little bit of the dirt, action. it's just, it's a yeah. feel. It's a certain yeah. feel that your energy just increases. Yeah, it will. You know? And what'll be fun, like Lisa's never been to a rodeo, so we're going to take our star and introduce her tomorrow. Oh yeah, it's going to be fun. This wonderful world of bull riding. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And it is, it you know, is. It, it is. I love behind the shoots, you know, how oh, everybody yeah. helps each other. And yeah. Kind of like on this production, you know, everybody just helps each other, yeah. you know. It's been yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And the bull, the bulls and the, and the uh, contractors coming oh. from way up in Kansas. It's going to take oh. them like half a day to get here. Four or five yeah. different contractors yeah. bringing extra bulls and yeah. Yeah. And the barrel man. How could we forget Jay? Oh, Jay's done so much for the rodeo. He has. Um, just incredible. He said, I always knew I could put on a rodeo in just a few days if I had the opportunity. He's doing it. He's done it. Absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah. I can't wait for everybody to meet him. We're going to talk to him in a little bit and, good. and, yeah. and show everybody what he's done. It's just amazing. Yeah. The grounds are just beautiful. And yeah, they are. Thanks to Valerie. She was out there mowing. She the was out there mowing. <laughs> yeah, she was out there mowing. I and I'm that. Uh, working so hard. Um, well, well, thank you so much um, for being on Freedom Friday. Thank, thank you. Thank you Scott. so much for the opportunity because it filled the mercantile today. Yes. And it's going to fill the arena tomorrow. Thank you. And thanks for sharing your life story. My pleasure, Scott. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>